Jeez. Talk about overcompensating. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, Earthrise Warp Cybertron. His name is Cliff Jumper Transformers. On this side of the box, we have that's lovely, lovely Earthrise artwork there. Earthrise Warp Cybertron trilogy. On this side of the box, we have a nice piece of artwork there of Cliff Jumper himself with his big old bazooka. He is a deluxe classic, classic, deluxe, deluxe, classic, classic, new. Oh, the Warp Cybertron. Tron on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. And you also get the decoder that you use on the uh, box insert, and when you hold it up to this section here, you have the dead universe. Ooh, scary. And moving right along, here we have Cliff Jumper, the next of our deluxes in this first wave of Earthrise. And here he is in his vehicle mode, his little red car, as Cliff Jumper's turned to be. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got a little bit of silver right up front here, some black right there, even little headlights are picked out in silver. Autobot symbol right there on the hood, the windshield and windows done in a nice transparent blue. The rims done in silver, that back windshield there done in black. And the back, you got a bit of silver there for the exhaust. Oh no, looks pretty good. There is the top, there is the bottom. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the old uh, classics. Cliff Jumper. Here he is with the uh, Titans Return Legends Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. And with his other Earthrise mates, here he is with Jackie. With Hoist. And of course, with Optimus Prime. And of course, the million dollar question, can it fit in Prime's trailer? Uh, yes, you can fit just fine. You can fit right in there. Yay! There you go. Have that going on. Things and stuff, things and stuff you can do. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include one, which breaks up into a couple of accessories, but he comes with his big old bazooka here. You can see the majority of it. Done in silver. With some black as well. Now there are two ways to store this in vehicle mode. You can remove these pieces here and they will plug in to these sides back here. So remove that and plug it in, plug it in. You can just take this and just plug it in to the back of the car like so. Helps a few. Whoa! That just wow, that just went all the way back there. You know, you know? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come here! What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, man? Right, stay there. There you go. So that's one way to store it if you want to. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? But another way you can store this is you can just take all of this apart, take these bits off, this splits into two separate guns here. And what we can do here is we take this section, this will unfold like so. And what's going to happen here is you got these two little pegs, which are going to go into these little, two little posts. And you have this post here, which will go into that point right there. So you just line all this up and just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. And that goes there. And then you take these sections here and these will tab in right here, like so and like so. And then you take the guns and their slots right here in the handles. And these will go onto these tabs right here. You just plug that in. And plug that in. There you go. There you have Cliff Jumper with his uh with his water ski deal there. So hey, that's pretty cool. 
Again, hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Why not? Dare I say, why not? I think that's pretty cool that they incorporated that there into the vehicle mode. So I like it. I like it. So yeah, that is uh, basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Hey, a good spin out of the gist bumper. Anyway, let's just remove all the uh, accoutrement here. Just put that off to the side. Unplug all of this. And we can begin. Now there is a bit of parts forming you have to do here with Cliff Jumper. What parts for? Shh. You do have to remove basically the whole back of the car here and uh, his hands are what are holding him in place. So you have to just kind of pull his uh, his hands down. He does hold this very securely. There we go. Just pull his hands down and all of this will just lift up and that gets put off to the side for now. And you're left with this. <laughs> so now we can continue. Let me raise up a little bit so I got some room to operate here. So now we've done that. We're gonna come to this door section here. You just kinda wanna bring all this back the little tab comes undone, and then you can just open that up like so. And just kind of split that so you can get in there and open that up. And then you come here to the hood section here, and you just kind of want to untab these sections here. This little tab here you have to get undone, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get undone. Come on. Oh, there we go. So undo that side. Undo that side, and then you can bring his legs down. I'm gonna come here to the wheels. These are going to flip in, and then you take this whole assembly here, and this will just rotate down. And then you take the door here, bring that in, and this little tab right here will go in between little, uh, little spokes there in the, uh, in the wheel. I'll just sit right there, like so. Second verse, just like the first, just bring that down and collapse that in. Again, just line that up, like so. So drop into place. There you go, and now you have this little weird thing going on here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening there. I don't know. I, I don't, I, that, that could be a thing. That could be a thing, why not? Why, hey, why not? Why not? But anyway, you just undo these shoulder sections. You do tab in back here, so just untab them, untab them. And that will allow you to just straighten out the whole body, and then you rotate him at the waist, like so. And then we can bring the arms the rest of the way up, like this section, bring that down, flip down the section of the hood that reveals the face, close that back up, and then just bring the arm down, straighten it out, bring the arm down, straighten it out, and we're pretty much done. Then we bring in the uh, back of the car here and just flip out this post. And this will plug in right back there. Like so. And there you go. There you have little Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. And he's a good looking little cliff jumper, in my opinion. I like him. I like him. He's just a little guy. And it's getting closer on that head sculpt. And nicely done. Little head sculpt there. Nice silver on the face. His eyes are done in a nice blue. See, a little bit more detail there on the arms, legs, his big old feet. He's got some big old feet. And over the back, you know, he just has like, the back of the car there as his backpack. Oh no, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. I think it's on a ball joint, I can't really tell. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up very slightly, look down very slightly. Head can rotate, although it's very snug on mine, but it can rotate. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You have bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation, legs can move forward that far, back that far, a little bit more, there you go, that far, outward, you can do the full splits, you have thigh rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and uh, the feet don't move up and down, but you do have all kinds of ankle tiltage. And of course, we can't give him his uh, his big old bazooka. It's it's as tall as he is, but um, you can 
Let's plug this into his hand. He kind of has to have his arm straight for him to hold it properly there. But there you go. He has a big old bazooka going on there. So can pew pew bang bang pew pew. But that's that's way more than pew pew. That's just bang 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 bang. That's just, that's boom boom bang bang really. But anyway, you can do that. Or if you want, you can break this up into pieces. Now, as far as the instructions go, like you can store this bit here on his shoulders, little tab there. Plug that in there for the instructions. That's what they want you to do. And you can pull these apart. You can see some of the. Uh, some of the silver paint there is kind of rubbed off of that post from being plugged in there, but you know, that's, that's, that's going to happen. Um, you can remove these and just kind of have these plugged into the side. There's like a, there's like a ammo magazines. I don't know. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Uh, you can have them just hold in two guns like so. so you can have that going on. Again, that just kind of tabs in. Not the most secure thing in the world. It's very... Small tab there, but there you go. There you go. You can, you can have that going on, and of course, he does have ports there on his forearms, on his legs, bottoms of the feet. So you know, ports there on his back. You can kind of store stuff and kind of configure things however you want. And of course, he is bluish compatible, so we can bring in my favorite effects parts, jet fires, and you know, a couple places here. He does have some uh, some bluishing points. He has a bluish point here on his shoulder, so you can get bluish. You can get bluish in the shoulder. If you want, you can get you can get bluished in the forearm. Bluish, oh my arm, ow oh, my arm. You can get bluished in the in the thigh there. Bluish, have that going on. Um, of course, you can plug them on to the bottoms of his feet here, and you can bluish over the cliffs. You can bluish over the cliffs. You can be cliff blusher, cliff blusher. I don't know. You know, plug it in back there. Jetpack bluish. I don't know. <laughs> but of course. The most important thing you can do is you can plug them into his guns. Cliff Blucher? I don't know what's... I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I had to stop for a second and reflect on that one. Cliff Blucher. Anyway, of course you can <laughs> plug them into the guns and have a big old double Blush! A double cliff blusher. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And of course, you can arm him up with your weaponizers. And if you want to, you can also take the uh, back of the car off of his back and you can plug this into his hand like so. And you can hold that as a shield. So, there you go. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Classics Cliff Jumper, with the uh, Titans Return Legends Bumblebee, with Earthrise Wheeljack, with Hoist, Hoist is a little taller here, whoop, there he is. And with Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So, there you have Cliff Jumper. And uh, yeah, nice little figure. Looks good, plays good, lots of bluish potential here. Pretty smooth transformation, so, you know, it's fun to mess with. I know there are some people who are going to hate the parts for me aspect of it, but I personally don't care. He's a cool little Cliff Jumper, lots of playability here. And uh, yeah, overall, I, I like him. I like him a lot. So, there you go. Now, these figures are starting to pop up in stores, so check your Targets, check your Walmarts. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Oh, cliff jumper! There you are. Oh, oh! Sometimes I forget how small you are. You're, you're just a wee one, aren't you? Yes, Prime. I know I'm not tall. Hey, hey! You know what you should do. What's that?
Rise! Is, is that a short joke? Yes! Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Well, how about I shoot you where the spark don't shine? Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy there. You know what, um... As you were. Hmm. Rise.